There are thousands of wrecks and reefs located all over the coast of Florida. From shipwrecks to sunken debris to artificial reefs, there is a multitude of underwater structure available to fish. You can expect to find snapper, grouper, porgies, grunts, and maybe even a hard fighting fish like an amberjack on these spots. This is Fisher Family Adventures, and today we are heading out of Marco Island, Florida to fish some of these local hotspots. One of the best baits for fishing wrecks and reefs around the area is live shrimp. You can buy these at any tackle shop for anywhere from $5 a dozen on up. And they really are the perfect bait for snapper, grouper, and anything else to catch out there. In addition to that, chum is one of the most key components to catching fish on any wrecks. It gets the fish fired up and excited and ready to feed on your baits and it tracks them right under the boat. On this trip we use a variety of baits. We use live shrimp, cut threadfin herring, whole threadfin herring, and cut and whole squid. It's always good to have a variety of baits on board when you're out fishing the wrecks. Once we arrive at the spot, we get set with the trolling motor. We bait our hooks and we toss them in the water and wait for a bite. Oh, a big one or just a fighter? Keep them coming then, man. Nice. It's not a bad one. He may keep. I hope. Uh, oh, I thought it's a good snapper. Get him in, get him in. Yeah, that's a good dinner snapper. Is it? Yeah, that's a <laughs> nice fit. Really, really, Kiana? Kiana, you got it. Kiana, come on. Really? First than you. Let's go. Yeah, that's the one we want. Let me get the net. Let me get the net, my man. Yeah, this might be the red we're looking for, my friend. Did I get it? It has to be. Yep, that's it. Let's go. Nice one. Oh, get that in, Kiana. That's a good one too. Get in. There's a mango snapper, it's a really good one too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, there you go. We found this spot through the use of our Strike Lines charts. And if you're interested in buying one, click the link below and use code FFA10 for 10% off. Here you go. How do you know how many? Until you get a bite, or until it stops coming out. Small one? There you go, pumping real like that. There you go, real man, that's, you got one. Oh, that's a grunt, that's, keep that, that's good. There you go, Kiana, get him. You got it. 
delicious fish, and a yellowtail. Bring him in. Another dinner fish. Look at that. Another really good mangrove snapper. Oh yeah. Wow, nice fish. Another very, very good fish. Another gorgeous snapper. Wow. Swing it in if it's a good snapper. It's under it's all the way under the boat. Wow. Man, how'd the line get all the way under there? Oh yeah. Oh, get it in. It's a grouper. It's a gag grouper. I can't. No, Malik, you gotta right, lift it. Malik, you gotta lift it in. Holy shit, that's big! Yeah. That's a gag grouper. It's... Are we allowed to eat that? No. Gag grouper are a really tasty fish, but unfortunately, they are out of season at this moment. So after a good few snapper in the boat, we reset our lines and look for more. Yeah, looks like a decent one. I wonder what that is. Mm, probably not a grouper, but probably a good snapper. Yeah, nice one. That's called a mutton snapper. Nice fish. Is that dinner or no? So this is called a mutton snapper. Ooh, that's fighting good. Maybe a small grouper or is it kicking? be a decent snapper I'm hoping for like a big yellowtail or something what is that is that a blue browner it's another porgy look at that it's just a bigger one yeah it's another porgy yeah this is a good grouper yeah this might be our big grouper of the day right here Really like rod though, so I can't really tell. Ah, another gag. Never mind. I'm just a light rod. Yeah. You got him. Oh yeah, on that tiny piece. It's a nice fish. He's fighting the whole way. Want to keep turning him? I wonder what this is. I think it's another grouper. Oh, nice porgy. Porgies are another delicious fish you can catch on any reef and wrecks off the coast of Florida. We must have put a dozen in the box over the course of the day. Oh, you've got a good one on. Let, when he runs, just keep your rod as steady as still. And when he runs, let him run, okay? And then now, now cancel mine on him. just not right, bro. <laughs> there you go. He might have a cobia on. He might have a really good fish. Oh, he might have one, Kiana. Hold on. I, I, I'm getting a video of it. You're, you don't need your phone. He's going around the front. Yeah, I think you might have a cobia, dude. Woo -hoo. Watch out. You need, I need you to come forward. He um, might get you in the drawing motor. 
Keep it down, keep it away from the boat, away from the motor. Go straight out, away from the motor. Keep it up there, fight him up there. Yeah, I think you got a Cobia, dude. Come to the right, come to the right, and around the motor, around the motor. All right? Keep him coming. Yeah, this is a good fish, dude. I think you might have a Cobia, which is awesome. This is a really tiny reel. I've never had trouble reeling in this shit. Keep him coming, man. You got him, he's yours. We're gonna get a look at him soon. Whatever he is. We're gonna see whatever it is. Keep coming. I'm in. Oh, he's running. It's a big boy. Yes, this is a big fish, man. Come to the left of the trolling motor now. Go over top. There you go. Real men, dude, you got him. This fish is all yours, man. He's going around to the front again. Stop, stop, stop. He's going around to the front again, man. You can switch off for a second if you're too uh, tired. Don't, don't let the line touch the boat. All right, go back up front to that left. I mean, if you put your hand in their mouth, they're gonna bite. No, we're not gonna eat this thing for dinner. Pound for pound, amberjacks are one of the hardest fighting fish in the ocean, and this made for quite the fight. You got it, dude. Pump and reel, pump and reel like I taught you. Pump and reel, lift up, reel down. Lift up, reel down. Come on, man, you got it. Pump and reel, lift up, reel down. There you go. Pump and reel like that. There you go. That's the technique, man. Keep doing that till he's at the surface. Pump and, pump and reel him like that, man, I told you. This might be a Goliath, but this could be a red, dude. This could be like a giant red grouper that we're gonna eat. Let's see. What is it? I see it. I see it. Oh my is it a Goliath? Yeah, it's a Goliath. It's a Goliath. Hell no! Key, look at this all! Yeah, it's a Goliath trooper. Holy shit! No, that's a Goliath. Nice one, man. Dang. Yeah, that you'll get those out here. Let me see him for a second. Let's see. Let me see. You got him. What do you mean? You got this guy. Uh, <laughs> See the technique? <laughs> You're a lot taller. <laughs> there he is. He's coming up as another Goliath. <laughs> oh no, I got tangled on here. This is air bladder, it's another Goliath. One second, what do you got? What is that? Oh, it's another Forgy. Nice. Yeah, it's a weird looking one though. It's got like red all around. That was a good hit. I think we might have a good snapper on. Hopefully it's not like a blue runner or something. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Mangrove snapper. Shit. <laughs> what is that thing? Mangrove snapper. Damn. AKA dinner. Really? Yeah. What do I got? I think I got a snapper on here. Let me kick it all the way up. Let's see. 
Yep, lane snapper. It's definitely a small snapper down there. There we go, another one. Another tiny snapper. But we will keep these things for bait all day. Oh, that's a yellowtail. It's a yellowtail snapper. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. Small red grouper. Uh, Alright guys, thanks for watching another video. We did pretty well on the snapper and they were the targeted species. Got a bunch of good ones in the box. So we're gonna go clean these fish, cook them up for dinner. We'll see you next time.